as far as I did it again, uh, wearing a Raptors hat during a leave segment. <laughs> Please excuse me, guys. <laughs> Where's my head? I'm sorry, Norm. There we go. Got the leaves crest. Leaves Nation, I'm back. All right. Boom goes the dynamite. All right, guys. So let's see here. Did that make the 10 minute mark, uh, Norms? Yeah, that's good enough. Let's go on to the next topic. Norms is a huge uh, topic section, is going to be the Toronto Maple Leafs. Our beloved Toronto Maple Leafs. This is what Norms wants to talk about. So, first topic, Norms, is uh, William Nylander signs a massive. Eight year, $92 million contract, well deserved. Uh, actually, they're playing right now against the San Jose Sharks at Scotiabank Arena in a couple of minutes. What do you think uh, about the, the Leafs uh, sign, uh, you know, signing Nylander to that massive contract? I think the Leafs uh, really secured uh, one of their uh, assets for the future. And this investment, this, uh, you know, even though that's it is the richest contract, I believe, in, in the NHL or like tr in the Toronto Maple Leafs history. Eight years, $92 million with $11.5 million per year for William Nylander. Uh, yeah, they really secured uh, the future, basically, with, with William Nylander. His, his, asset, uh, his, his asset to the team is uh, tremendous. His talent speaks for itself. I mean, like he is uh, second in scoring right now. Uh, for the Maple Leafs behind Austin Matthews, and he's leading in points, I believe. And he's only 27 years old, so he's got a whole future ahead of him with Toronto. Um, all along that he wanted to be a Toronto Maple Leaf, and, and it sure as heck uh, worked out. Um, this will be, uh, yeah, uh, um, th their future, their future investment, just like uh, the Oilers are signing uh, Connor McDavid long-term. So same way with Toronto. He's coming um, to Toronto. McDavid, we'll talk about that later. Sorry. Do you I, really I want another center with Connor McDavid? I, I don't. Yes. Think. Um. Yeah. It. It. Like I said. Uh. You know. The. The Leafs uh, really secured their future with William Nylander. Uh. You know. A tremendous player. Hopefully. Uh. Going. Uh, going forward, that they'll able to go far in the playoffs. I know that the Leafs fans are hungry for a Stanley Cup. They're hungry to pass the second round. Uh. And you know win a third round and win a win a cup so yeah this is like one step uh closer to um solidifying a good team you know norbs i totally agree with you uh man we're really agreeing with each other uh i hope we're not dragging down the suspense for our viewers in this episode uh it's a miracle we're agreeing with everything but i totally agree uh kneelander definitely well deserved he's uh, norbs i did it again uh Wearing a Raptors hat during a leave segment. <laughs> Please excuse me, guys. <laughs> Where's my head? I'm sorry, Norm. There we go. Got the Leafs crest. Leafs Nation, I'm back. All right. So, uh, yeah, I totally agree, I totally, to totally agree with you, uh, Norbs. Uh, I think uh, a huge. I think he's the only one that's well-deserved because he's the only one, hello, Leafs Nation, that performs in the playoffs. The only one out of the four, Core, Tavares, love the guy. Matthews, love the guy. Marner, great kid. They're like ghosts, MIA, MIA. And who's the one that performs the most? It is William Nylander. So well-deserved contract. Yes, is it going to handcuff the whole team again? Well, it's not really Tree Living's fault. You can thank Kyle Dubas for that one. Brock University graduate, by the way. You can thank him for that one because just handcuff the whole team. So if those four guys take up what Norb sixty percent of the cap now. So <laughs> I yeah. mean, this is a huge chunk, a huge chunk of the cap. They have to do it, Norris, because Nylander's the only one that performs for us in the playoffs. So we definitely couldn't have lost him. Can't blame Tree Living. His hands were tied from Dubas's idiocy in the beginning. So now he had to do it. He had to. We had to get it done. Deal. Now. Let, now, okay, I'll, we'll go. I'll, I'll mention the topic number two, but I totally agree with you, Norris. Great signing, well deserved. He's gonna be a lead for life, eight year deal. Was he twenty five right now? He's gonna be like thirty three. Seven, I believe. 
So uh, yeah, he's twenty seven right now. So uh, with oh, he's gonna be a leaf for life. He's probably gonna retire with the Leafs. He's gonna (laughs) retire with the Leafs. Woo! Great job, uh, Willie. Uh, Well, well deserved. So we'll go to quest topic number two. uh, Norris, right now we got time. Actually, is topic number two. How does Nylander signing affect Leafs' future? Ooh, I can't wait. It's my turn, but I'll let the man himself go first on this one. It's it's a difficult question. Uh, I think, uh, you know, if we ask the same question next year when when Mitch Marner becomes a free agent, I think uh, we oh, know geez. for sure. I think we know for sure what's going to happen. But I think it's two I years think, later, Norbs. Yeah. I think I think Marner uh, is a free agent uh, in two years. Is, is it Marner a free agent after the next year? I, I thought I, I saw like no, 20, it's 2025. Yeah, same as dry um, and uh, yeah, I mean, and Tavares as well, right? So his his contract is uh, still lingering on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Hypothetically, let's say if we're if we're in into the future right now, uh, and hypothetically, like you know, Mitch Marner, let's say he, he's a free agent this year, I I think that we can answer the question: uh, How is going to how this contract is going to affect the, the Leafs in the future? I think it, it's still it's beneficial because Nylander, um, you know, signed long term. It's what the Leafs want and what the Leafs Leafs fans want. They they sign him to a good good deal, but they have to sign a goaltender. They have to get they have to get through a defense. Jonesy got Jonesy yeah. and Wall. He I mean yeah he he's a veteran, but like how 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 long is he going to stay good? You know he's he's a veteran. And, and he's also often injured as well. And Joseph Wall is our is our you know top goaltender right now. But there's gonna be more. There's gotta be more that the Leafs can that needs to be done here. Yes, we let uh, Nylander, uh had us. You know they they locked him in for for eight years. But there there's gotta be more that the Leafs have to be doing. There's gotta be more that they'll be doing. Uh, I think uh, to to really like have a positive future for the Leafs. But I think right now it's not clear. It's not clear how the future of the Leafs is going to be uh, without uh, an investment, with without investing on goaltending and, and defensemen. Um, they they have some cap space, but like you know, they at least they, they still got to stretch it out a little bit. So I I think that it's it's uh, it's not clear for me right now how the fu- how the future uh, of the Leafs is, is going through right now. Yeah, I I let me see how much time we have left because I think Norbs took up the whole time with that. No, nope, he didn't. Uh, I'm kidding, Norbs. Uh, I got sure it's unclear, my friend. You know what? I'll go straight to the point. I got four minutes. Say my Stephen A. Skip Bayless spiel right now. Future looks good. So if we can at least tie Marner after um, we can resign him next year, I think we can offer another extension next year, right? Marner. Love the guy. You know, people go on him hard. I go on him hard. But at the end of the day, we need him. We need Mitch Marner. So let's see if we can extend him another four years. Five years. Right? Uh, Tavares. No. <laughs> oh, Norv's, Norv's another hating on Marner. Norv's hating on Marner. Uh, I can understand why, but okay. And then we get Tavares uh, to sign minimum, or he's going to retire. Hopefully he doesn't. I think he'll still be good, Johnny T, for, you know, he'll still have it. But let's say, like, he retires or signs them for a minimum for another two years extra after 2025 right so that's going to be key if they can if the leaves can at least if they lose Tavares, at least keep marner for 20 for past 2025 i'm gonna say it i'm gonna annoy the heck of the norms and all via tea time and everyone that knows me connor mcdavid 2026 it's a free agent uh, listen I'm, I'm i know it sounds funny. i'm, I'm dead serious norms listen listen like he looks at the team, and we still got Riley at defense. Now, if if, if Wonderwall can turn out to be the goalie that we needed, got Wonderwall in that. Um, and we have Austin Matthews, who I believe is the second best player in the league after uh, McDavid, Marner, Nylander in their prime. If you're McDavid, you're looking at that. I mean, damn. Yes, is the Superman, but I mean, damn. You got you got pieces around you now. Of course. Because of the salary cap, David, it's going to be a lot to sign him. But hey, hometown kid, who knows? He's got money, Norbs. He's got endorsements. He's a he's probably a billionaire right now. Does he need any more money? And McDavid goes, you know, I'll take a little pay cut so I can like sign with you guys. I mean, the oh, yeah, least. That's hope. 
Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh, the Leafs, my goodness, 2027, we're going to be the team to beat. You know, so hometown boy comes to Toronto, looks and says, you know what, I'm gonna, I want to win a cup for my hometown. This guy, he knows he's going to be an icon for life till the day he passes away. Uh, you think he's not thinking like that right now, the back of his head? So if the Leafs can keep that four core, like maybe Johnny T takes less money, veterans minimum to stay on. Because Johnny T's making a lot of money right now, too. If he can, yeah. you know, I think he's a humble Insane guy. Insane contract, seven years. Yeah, so, like, I mean, if he can swallow million. his pride, Marner, I don't know if he's a dude I'll take a pay cut, but he's like, hey, we can get McDavid. If Tree Living can talk to Marner and uh, uh, Johnny T and be like, yo, if you guys can take a little less, we're going to make a run for McDavid, right? I think we have a good chance. I mean, if they do it, I mean, damn. Like, I think the future looks great. So, is this signing good? I think it is. Yes, handcuffs the Leafs, but I mean, we have to get New Andrew in there because it gives us a chance for the next five years to to make a run for the cup. So uh, huge. The future looks great because one man holds the key. Number 97 for Evan, Connor McDavid. Come on home. Come on where you belong. The great city of dare, Toronto. Dare to North. dream, my friend. Dare to dream. I, I think <laughs> of the future is not clear right now unless if they do something with marner uh possibly like in in my honest opinion just uh you know uh make him test free agency and see what's out there for him i know he's a very talented young no, man are you crazy but, uh, we don't like i in in my opinion matthews and nylander are the future of the maple Leafs right now tavares and marner i think they should test free agency go somewhere else maybe sign and, and possibly, you know, uh, play for a contender. And if that ever happens, hypothetically, let's let's uh, go after McDavid if if he if he wants to come on to Toronto. That that I would think... make more sense. That would make a uh, make clear a lot of um, clear a lot of salary cap there. You know, man. I, I, we you know when we ever chill again, we gotta keep talking. I, I, we're running out of time. Sorry, North <laughs> and Tea Time viewers, but. I, this is a good discussion we're having. Uh, honestly, you make some great views. Yes, that's what people, a lot of Toronto uh, friends of mine, Leaf fans, friends, or Leaf people that I know uh, are telling me that, and people at Equinox Base, the greatest place in the world, uh, are telling me that, um, you know, it's 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 best to just let go of Marner and Tavares, save the cap, make a run at McDavid. Yes. Here's the two things, though. It's risky because let's say they lose both of them and they make a run at McDavid, McDavid goes somewhere else. Or he signs with the Oilers, or you know, or or like at least like I love Johnny T, but at least try to keep Marner. You got a lot lose Johnny T. You got to lose Johnny T. But I mean, at least try to keep Marner because I think it'd be more appealing to McDavid that he sees you got Matthews, Nealander, and Marner, and uh, Morgan Riley. And if Wall becomes a goalie that everyone wants him to beat, damn, like that looks like a stellar team. And then he says, you know what? I'll take a pay cut. Fill some pieces around us for, and we're ready to go. So they're going to be in their prime. All four of them will be in their prime at, by 2027. So I mean, it's just, um, I think, I think, I think that's the best way to do it. Like now, is McDavid coming to Toronto? Well, it's a pipe dream, right? Not really, though. Not really a pipe dream because he's from here. He's from here. So, um, but still, it's going to be tough. But it will appease McDavid more if he sees at least Marner. Is there with me on but we've talked too much norps great job again as always happy new year guys uh again and uh yes norps uh we will continue raptors uh leafs gonna be great right yep i i think so <laughs> all, right, all right we're good we're good all right great norps cabrera and tommy lee signing out uh on another note please like and subscribe our podcast tea time with tommy or else tommy will throw tea at you <laughs>